before we start, we actually want to take a minute, each one of us, wherever we are, let's take a minute for a word of prayer. Wherever you are, please, silently, we can do this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, my name is Gladys, and I am your moderator today. Very, very excited. And my role here is very simple. Mine is just to welcome the people who are going to take us through this great session. First, I say this month is dedicated to ladies and uh, to women generally in the world. So if you're a lady on the call, please, uh, welcome to the call, and also if we have men, thank you very much. You're also very welcome. Um, I, I want to welcome the people coming all the way from wherever you are, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, South Sudan, Australia, Europe, West Africa. We have Nigeria and Liberia coming on the call, and USA and Europe. So we thank you and we welcome each one of you. We hope to take some one hour plus of your time and uh, we hope that we are going to make a difference and that we are going to actually impact on the people on the call today and above all we hope that what we've started today is something that will spiral to another lady out there and change their life i came into this opportunity 18 years ago i was invited to a meeting like this only that it was physical and uh, i was a trained teacher i was working in the bank and when I looked at what they offered me in terms of a family, in health, wellness, business, I said yes, my very first day. So if you are a guest on the call, we are looking forward to having you join our new life family. And we hope that we will have a long life relationship that um, will take us very, very far as we impact the world. Uh, right now, I'll not take too much of your time. I want to quickly invite our first speaker. She is a great lady whom I love very much. She's a go-getter. She's very focused. And she has done wonderful things all over the world, empowering people. And so in, within no time, I'll be inviting Purity Dumu, who is a lecturer at the university, to come and take us through the first session on family. Welcome, Purity. Thank you. Thank you so much, Gladys. I hope you can hear me. Yes, I can. Gladys, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Take thank you so me. much for welcoming me. Yes. Okay, thank you so much uh, for welcoming me to this great opportunity that I may be able to speak to the ladies, the men and everybody on this call this afternoon. I'm really happy that I've gotten this chance. I also want to thank our PT Judy for giving me this chance to speak to, this, uh, to the people on the call today. Uh, my name is Spirit Dongo. Hello. My name is Spirit Dongo. I am a mother. I am married to Isaac Dongo. And between us, we have three children between the ages of nine and 15 years. I am a lecturer by profession. And before this opportunity of new life, I was teaching in the classroom as a lecturer. I have taught for many years, more than 10 years. And somebody invited me to this great opportunity of new life. And as a lecturer, you would expect that I was earning a lot of money. But I can tell you the truth, I was having a lot of money issues. And I was doing a lot of part-time teaching so that I could be able to meet my many, many challenges of health that I had. So a colleague lecturer invited me to this opportunity and I'm forever grateful because since that day, my life has changed a lot. When I came to the meeting, I was told that in this opportunity, I can make a lot of money, I can have good health and I can travel the world. 
for me, I was interested in the money because that was the, the, the charity that I was having. My husband also is a high school teacher. So he was employed by the TSC. So you can imagine both of us were having a salary, but we had various challenges in terms of health. So I wanted to change my life. And I started immediately. Today I want to look at the role of women in the family setup. And as we know, the family is actually God's idea. The family is the basis of the society. It is the basis of the church, and it is the basis of the nation. Women are the backbone of the family. Women are the backbone of the society. Women are the backbone of the church and even the nation at large. Women are the providers in, at home, in that we are the people who go to the market and buy food for our family. Women are relationship managers. Women are the schedule keepers. Women are the housekeepers. Women are the caregivers. We are the people who take care of our kids. We nurture our babies right from the womb until they are grown ups, until they leave our homes at 18 years. We are also there to take care of our, our husbands for those who are married. We are also there to take care of our extended family members. Women today contribute a, a great deal of the income of the family. So you can imagine, today I'm just focusing on the women. And I believe as I focus on the women, the men are also being taken care of because when you are human, a woman is empowered as a man, you are also empowered and you are excited to be in that home. So with these many, many laws that we have as women, it shows that we cannot be able to play these roles without, without being able to be financially and economically empowered. We need to be women who are financially and economically empowered, whether we went to school, whether we have jobs, because it doesn't matter whether you went to school, if you are a mother, all what your children need is food on, at the table every day. And therefore I'm calling upon women today. Whether you are employed, whether you are a housewife, I want, I want to call upon you and tell you that as a woman, God created you in a special way. In the creation, God said that he created the woman so that she could be able to take care of the house or the family and even to complete the man. So every woman listening to me today know that there's a lot of potential within you, but sometimes when we get married as women, we become comfortable and we start depending on our husbands for our, our financial provision. And remember, as we have said, as women, we are the homemakers. So we need money. We need money to ensure that we have good and healthy food for our children and our families. We need money to ensure that our children are getting the best education. We need money to learn the affairs of our families without much strain. We need money to reach out to our extended families. Every day we are called upon when we have sick people in our family members, and we are supposed to be there to offer assistance, and without money we may not be able to offer this assistance. So why start the new life opportunity as a lady? The new life opportunity is so ideal for us as women. I remember when I was working full-time and teaching part-time, I used to have very little time to take care of my children. I could go very early in the morning, and come back very late in the night. And therefore, I did not have much time to see my children and yet they were but I could not be able to, 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 to take care of them. But when I, I joined this opportunity, I realized it's an opportunity that I can work even from home. I realized it's an opportunity that even if you are working on part-time, you can be able to you're working on part-time, you can be able to earn full-time income. I realized that in, uh, this is a business that when I work from home, I can be able to take care of my children. I can be able to take care of my husband. I can be able to help my husband to supplement even his income as well. 
you realize that this today, the neolithic has embraced technology. Everything we are doing online, it is so ideal, especially during this time of COVID-19, because many people have stopped working at this time. But in your life, our business have even done better over this period of COVID-19. Why? Because we are doing everything online. When you join this opportunity as a member, you have your own website from the company, and you can be able to do your business. You can be able to sponsor people even all over the world. Like in my team today, I know I have people in my team today who are listening to me from the US, from Germany, from Canada, from many parts even of Africa, just because of the technology that we have embraced in this business of new life. New life opportunity also offers you a chance to have very good health. As a woman, we have said you are the core, you are, you are very key. You are the backbone of that family. You are the one who suffers when your children are sick, when your husband is sick. And I tell you, when you get into this business of new life, you will get very good health. We have very wonderful products. They have, they work. They have worked for the last 62 years. And even myself, I'm a witness that these products are great. When I came in, my mom was diabetic. Today, she is very okay. My aunt, who is here on this call, I believe she is here listening to me. She had high blood pressure. She had arthritis. Today, she is very okay. I have one of my directors in this call uh, by the name Helen Kibushi. When she came in, her daughter had not gotten a child for 10 years. But after listening and joining this to this opportunity, she was able to reach out to her daughter. And today, her daughter is having a beautiful baby girl who is one and a half years. Those are just but a few examples. But I have been able to reach out to so many people just because I said yes to this new life opportunity. Remember also, new life helps you to earn passive income. You can be able to be earning passive income as you continue with your other activities that you do with your other business or your job. And when you, ha you, you, you have this part-time income or this passive income, you can be able to use this money to invest in other areas. Today, I can tell you that I'm a proud lad lady in Nairobi, courtesy of New Life Opportunity. That is called passive income. New Life offers you a chance to travel the world. In New Life, you can be able to travel with your spouse or your partner in the business. Today I've traveled courtesy of this opportunity with my husband to various destinations, something that would, I would not have done. In fact, when I came to New Life, thank God because of my husband, because when I told her about this opportunity, him about this opportunity, he gladly embraced it. And today we work this business together. We always have a lot of time together. This has helped us to board so much together to think together, to do so many projects together, and our lives have improved greatly. What if I said no to new life? My life would still be in the classroom. My life would be still be miserable the way I was. But today, I, I am a better lecturer. I'm far much, much better than those lecturers. I talked about the opportunity that they have never joined. So new life is a, is a great opportunity. Remember, new life is also a business that is inheritable. You can imagine. This business of new life, you can bequeath it to your children. Meaning, even long after you are, you are not here, your children can continue enjoying this business. That one does not happen in the job market. Because in the job where we, we, we work, after your retirement, you never replace your place with your child, with your son, with your daughter. But in this business, I know people who have worked for more than 40 years, and today their children are enjoying the business. They have, already be, uh, they have already inherited their parents' business, and they are continuing on and on. So uh, our ladies today, I want to tell you, this is the best business that you can embrace, and it will change your life forever, and will change the life of many people. Remember when you go, the greatest legacy that people will live to remember you is the life that you touched. It is not the many cars that you will be driving or the buildings, but the many lives that you have touched through this business. So I want to call upon the ladies and everybody else on this Zoom today 
to embrace the opportunity of new life, and especially the ladies, let us start out, let us embrace this opportunity, let us make the world a healthier and a happier place, let us put a smile on somebody's face through this great opportunity of new life. So thank you so much. Let us go all out and do this business, women. Let us empower ourselves. Let us empower many people. Let us empower our families. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Gladys. Thank you so much, P.T. Judy Jello, for giving me this chance. God bless you, and I want to stop there. Thank you. Wow. Back that to is, you, Gladys. Thank you, Purity. That is amazing because I have seen you come into the opportunity and do great things. You are one of my role models, and that is truly amazing. Thank you for sharing with us. Without uh, wasting any more time, I want to invite our second presenter, who is a lady who I admire a lot. She's one of our great uh, mentors in our opportunity. She has been a mentor to me ever since day one I came in, Dr. Fatma Abdallah. She is uh, an oncologist and a hematologist at Kenyatta National Hospital. But I think it's best if I allow her to be able to give her own testimony. So uh, Dr. Fatma Abdallah, wherever you are, please welcome and take it away. We'll be more than grateful. Thank you. Hello. Yes, Dr. Ari. Can you hear me? Yes. Good. Thank you so much, Gladys. That was a fantastic um, introduction. Um, and also to Purity. Um, that was a powerful um, uh, discussion uh, on the role of the woman to the family. Um, and I'm very happy to be part of this um, uh, discussion today. So um, I would like us to go straight into um, my talk. And my talk is um, the role of woman uh, on health. Uh, what is her role uh, in health? Um, well, I think already Purity has put it very clearly that the woman determines the health of her family. And therefore, if we can educate the woman um, about uh, health and what is good health for herself as well as for the rest of the family, then we can be sure that the, the rest of the family will be having good health. Mm. And actually that's why um, one of our really you have educated a whole family. It's true, isn't it? I'm sure you all agree with me. Not that when you educate men, you don't educate a family, but um, whatever uh, knowledge and information um, and skills a woman has directly impact the family because she spends a lot of time with the children and with the rest of the family and she, uh, she focuses, her focus more is on the family. And we know the focus of the man is um, more to provide for that family. Um, well, um, the reason um, I uh, got into the neo life was my daughter. Again, that's the family. My daughter was suffering from asthma and um, she had been seen by the best specialist, um, uh, some of whom were my colleagues. As Gladys has said, um, um, I work at Kenyatta National Hospital and I teach at the University of Nairobi um, and that is the top a hospital in the whole country in Kenya. So all the top specialists um, in Kenya uh, were not able to help my daughter with her asthma. It was in the family, she inherited it. Um, and many of them will tell me, well, since it's inherited, it's not easy to get rid of it because it is in her genes. But I didn't give up. And so one of the uh, times when I attended uh, presentation of Neo Life and heard that the founder of Neo Life himself used to suffer from um, asthma, but he no longer suffers from it. I was very, very touched. And I said, okay. To 
not to suffer anymore. Maybe it helped my daughter. And so straight away, that was my reason for getting into new life and I've never regretted it. Because within seven months of my daughter using the supplements, Vita Square, Vita Guard, um, Herbal Respiratory, Nutri Shake, she uh, got cured of her asthma. Um, and that was when she was 10 years old. And now she's 33 years old. She's healthy. Her asthma has become a history in our family. We used to have a whole chemist in the house. We no longer do that. And uh, she's so healthy and her uh, lungs are so strong, she's been able to climb to the top of Mount Kenya as well as climb Mount Kilimanjaro. So that really encouraged me. Um, and I really thank God for having been uh, exposed to these supplements. Um, and that's why I'm, I'm still here and I'm happy today to be able to educate um, or um, share my knowledge with the rest of you on, on these supplements and what is their role and how can it help both a woman as well as her family. So straight away, We'll go to the um, uh, first uh, present, uh, uh, supplement um, um, and for us to understand that really our health is our greatest wealth. Because when you're healthy, you can even do three jobs in a day and not feel tired and, and not um, suffer from uh, ex uh, exhaustion um, and be able to make as much money as you want. And yet when you are not healthy, then you lose a lot of money. You spend money in hospitals, with doctors, with um, um, medicines. Um, so that is one thing we must all understand and realize. Secondly, let's also understand that the supplements we are talking about that I'm going to, to discuss really have a very strong um, scientific uh, basis and foundation. And this is because uh, the company in your life has a scientific advisory board with uh, well-known, trusted, um, highly qualified uh, scientists and doctors of different qualifications that make a team um, who are in charge of these supplements um, in their formulation, in their um, ingredients, and uh, even after they have been uh, manufactured, in doing um, research to confirm that what their knowledge told them these supplements would do in the human body actually is proved through that research. And some of that research, they don't even do themselves. They pass it on to, to other scientists uh, so that there's that independence um, um, of the information uh, that's coming out. So um, really, we have to understand one thing, that wellness um, is a very basic thing that um, has been discussed by many of the health organizations, World Health Organizations, and all the different uh, organizations of the world, um, and that we are in charge of part of that wellness. Um, and the wellness has um, uh, a pyramid that has been suggested by them that also Neolife has taken it up and made it a part of the reason why they have developed these supplements. And this wellness uh, pyramid, as you see, um, has a basis of physical activity and weight management at the base, um, followed by um, uh, now what we eat as in our diet, which finally gets into our cells as nutrition and nutrients. Uh, we need whole grains to be um, the, the, the major part of our diet. Whole grains, unpolished, um, as straight as they come from the farm, um, followed by um, lots of fruits and vegetables. Um, actually recommended is that we must eat five to nine different colored fruits and vegetables a day um, in order to, to have good health. And then uh, late, uh, on top of that then is the protein. We need to take the correct type of protein and it must be whole, some protein with all the amino acids that our bodies need. 
um, in one meal. Um, and then finally, as the pyramid gets smaller, um, the fats and sugars should be the smallest part uh, and the tiniest part uh, of, of our diet. But you and I will agree, that's not how we eat, isn't it? We actually turn that pyramid upside down. The food stuffs that we're supposed to eat plenty of, the whole grains, we do very little of. And those that we are supposed to take in very little of, the fats and the sugars are the ones that we do a lot. Uh, most of our diets are uh, foodstuffs are deep fried in oil um, and contain a lot of sugar because these days people want to eat food that tastes nice. Whether that food will be of benefit to the body or not, it doesn't bother their minds. Um, but from now on, from today onwards, all of us listening should now be able to make that choice. Not just have food that tastes nice, but should be of benefit to our body, not for it to be rubbish going through our system and out. So that's why Neo Life adopted this um, wellness pyramid um, and um, decided to give you um, a, a choice and to give you an alternative because many times Sometimes when we want some of these foodstuffs, we cannot get them at the right amounts or the right types. So um, the, the scientists who work, have been working for us since 1958 and up to today, they still work for us, decided to then give you the choice. So for whole grains, the supplement that then provides you with the whole grains, uh, that maybe you, you, if you tell me, oh, but I cannot get brown rice, I can't get brown uh, bread and doesn't, uh, you know, last so long in my house. Um, you can take Trianen instead because a Trianen is made from 250 pounds. That one bottle that you see there is made from 250 pounds of whole wheat, whole soya and whole rice, straight as it comes from the farm with no polishing, no um, uh, adjustment that is done anywhere. Um, and why? Because the brown part, the outer part of these grains contains some very essential oils that our bodies need and that you cannot get them from anywhere else. And you must only get them from grains. And those are the omega-6 uh, uh, oils that you get from trianin. So you have trianin as a choice. If you, don't, if you want to continue eating your white rice and white bread, make sure you add um, uh, the trianin supplement so that it provides you the oil that have been removed when those grains have been polished to look white like paper. Then for fruits and vegetables, uh, many of us remember to take fruits and vegetables to when we visit sick people, but we don't remember that we who are healthy also need to maintain our health by eating enough fruits and vegetables. The challenge, of course, of some of the fruits um, is that they are only seasonal. They, can, they are not available from January, 1st of January to 31st of December. So again, Neo Life has made it convenient for you, taken those same fruits and vegetables and, and extracted the goodness and put them into carotenoid complex. Um, and you see it there in that one bottle of carotenoid complex contains 115 kilograms of the different colored fruits and vegetables. Those that have the orangey, yellowish, reddish color in them. When God put those different colors in them, it wasn't just to make them look attractive to you so that you would want to eat them, but that each of them contribute and provide you a different phytonutrient that is very essential for, for, your, for your health and especially for your immunity. The role of carotenoid yeah, complex yeah. is to boost your immunity so that yeah, um, God, you can yeah, protect yeah. yourself um, uh, and, God, and protect yeah. your cells from any yeah, infections God, that are yeah. going around as well as to protect yourself from the chronic diseases that come with age um, and, and, and many, many other things that um, I don't want to go into a lot of detail into right now, but that is what um, carotenoid complex does. Now, uh, before I move on, both carotenoid complex and trianin, these two uh, supplements, 
that I start with the, the training that provides you the whole grains can only be found in Neolife. No other company in the world has bothered to look into what is important in the health of man in, in the world today and provide him with it, except Neolife. And that tells us how thoughtful and how, how much the scientists um, uh, in, in Neolife care for, for humanity in the world providing such essential supplements that are basic to us. Because each cell in our body, and our body contains 73 trillion cells, each cell must be fed, it must feed. And for it to feed, it must have those essential oils that come from whole grains that make its membranes soft and, and uh, pliable and flexible so that what, all the food that you eat goes in and all the rubbish can come out. Therefore, the um, cell can have energy to do whatever work it's supposed to do, whether it is to move your leg or to pump uh, for the muscle, or it is the lungs that are helping you breathe, or the brain that's working. Whichever cell, every cell needs to eat. So that's what trianine does to you. And then the carotenoid complex, that cell needs to be protected because this world is full of um, all other organisms that are bombarding uh, our human body, the bacteria, the parasites, um, and the viruses, and even the virus that right now is um, affecting the whole world. All that uh, carotenoid complex provides the protection um, to our cells to be able to protect and be able to defend itself so that it is not invaded by these other organisms um, um, from, that come from the environment. And then when we move on the protein, for you to get good quality protein, there is no one protein food stuff that we eat that contains all the essential and non-essential amino acids, whether it be meat, fish, eggs, whatever. You only find some in one food stuff and others in another food stuff. And for you to get all of them, uh, the 22 essential amino acids, you must be able to then combine these different proteins. But what has Neolife done? It has made it convenient and made the Neolife, and, uh, Neolife shake and NutriShake um, uh, with a, uh, based in soya so that it has all the different amino acids that your body needs. Your body needs, and especially those cells that I mentioned, the third need that our cells, the cells in our body need is to be able to renew and repair themselves. You know when you cut yourself, you don't need to run to the hospital for them to stitch unless it's a very deep cut and you're bleeding very heavily. If it's, a, uh, if it's not such, you, in three, four days, the wound gradually heals itself. Uh, and after a week, you even forget um, that you had cut yourself and you may not even see a scar. That's because the cells have that um, ability in themselves to be able to renew and repair. And to be able to do that effectively and efficiently, they must get the 22 amino acids. And so this has been provided to you in NutriShake um, and it comes uh, in a very um, easily digestible and absorbable form because it's in powder. It can be taken by the youngest member of the family and the oldest one, both of whom may not have enough teeth. And it comes also Oh, very nicely in beautiful different flavors um, uh, so that you can be able to take it. So this protein then, um, protein shake and nutri shake provides you with those amino acids that your cells need all the time. And then finally, um, right at the top of the uh, pyramid, because we are, we, human beings don't easily change their habits. When we get used to eating certain things, it's very difficult for us to change. And so many of us love to eat foods that have lots of sugar and lots of oil, but that's very harmful. Only, your body can only digest a little sugar and a little oil um, per day. Two teaspoons of oil to be precise and one tablespoon of sugar, uh, two teaspoons of sugar, sorry, and one tablespoon of oil is all that your body can uh, digest in 24 hours. And you can ask yourself, 
and look at the food you eat and ask yourself how many, how much oil and sugar does it have? But don't worry, because the Neo Life has thought of this and understands human nature. It has developed the product uh, Salmon uh, Omega oil, oil Plus to protect you against the harmful effects that those excess sugars and oils that you take in your food. So that um, omega-3 salmon oil made from pure flesh of fish, the fish called salmon, um, is what will protect you. And therefore, to make life very convenient for you, Neo Life has gone further. Instead of asking you to get these in four different bottles, as was shown in the previous um, uh, uh, picture, it, it has decided to make life easy for you. Put them together in a box called Provitality. And so when you open one sachet in the morning, you get four or, of them. Two, uh, three capsules um, and one tablet. And the extra tablet that you, that you get that I haven't discussed is the multivitamin, multimineral. But the other three are the trianin, the whole grain uh, concentrate, the carotenoid complex for the fruits and vegetables, and the omega-3 salmon oil. So that uh, when you open one in the morning and you take it with your breakfast, it covers you for the whole day. And you can have plenty of energy and have vitality and also uh, have your immune system working at its maximum to protect you from uh, being infected and being bombarded by the different organisms. So that's the basic foundation of um, uh, supplements that um, women and the whole family really must have. The provitality that I talked about, as well as the Neo, Neo Life Shake or Nutri Shake. Now, on top of that, women also need other supplements. And they have different roles at different times uh, of uh, or periods in their life. So for feminine herbal, feminine herbal uh, supports a woman's unique cyclical needs. As we understand, a woman goes through cycles because of the hormones and because of her reproductive role. Um, and uh, so not only does it support those cycles so that they, they, she goes through the cycles smoothly, she, um, she, she's able to become calm and to have energy and to be able to continue um, her role in the family and to boost her spirits um, and provo promote a positive mental attitude so that she can also um, encourage the rest of the family uh, um, to have uh, good, uh, good moods as well as promoting the normal physiological function that she has. Um, and therefore, um, um, women will need this um, for several um, times. She may require them earlier on um, when she's still de uh, developing. So for the teenagers in the family, she, she may need it so that um, some teenagers have trouble with their cycles. They are not regular, they are not smooth. Um, it's very troublesome um, time and it's the most miserable time of, of uh, these teenagers' lives in the family. And then later on, the woman, as she continues and tries to, 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 to get into her role as a reproductive part, a uh, reproductive role in the family and to have children, if she's having challenges, then that feminine is also uh, very useful to support her, to be able to have um, the, the children that she would like to. And later on, when she, uh, she has finished her reproductive a cycle and age and is now um, settling down into um, uh, an age where now she would be wanting to enjoy grandchildren, to be able to also support her at that time um, and, uh, and help her with the change for, from being non-reproductive to non-reproductive, there comes a lot of changes and hot flushes and uh, very severe mood changes um, so that she's able to do that. Okay, thank you the, mm, briefly about uh, feminine. So we move to the next product, which is Cruciferous Plus. This is a very, very um, important um, 
a supplement, not just for women, but for uh, everybody in the family. Why? Because Cruciferous Plus is made from those vegetables that many of us cannot handle. Um, when we eat some of these vegetables that it is made from, um, these are the, the broccolis and the cauliflowers um, and radishes. Many of us end up having discomfort, the abdominal discomfort. And so we, we decide, I, I'm not going to eat those vegetables. Yet they have a very, very important role um, in our bodies um, in protecting us from um, cancers, um, benign cancers that women, or let's, let me call them benign tumors that women develop in their uterus, which we call fibroids. It's very critical in preventing and shrinking fibroids, but more importantly, in protecting both men and women from those cancers that are hormone dependent. And two of those are the number one killers of both men and women in the whole world. And that is cancer of the breast and cancer of the prostate. These are the number one cancer killers for men and women, whichever country and whichever continent you go to. And yet here is a supplement, Cruciferous Plus, that can prevent um, these cancers because it blocks the receptors where the hormones come and trigger the growth of that cancer. And therefore, it becomes very important. Um, I'm sure many of us um, know a friend or a relative um, who has suffered cancer, and I'm sure you'll agree with me, you wouldn't want anyone to suffer cancer. No one, not even your worst enemy, if I may put it that way. Uh, it, because it, it, people suffer psychologically, physically, mentally, financially, not just the person, but the whole family suffers, the community suffers. And of course, finally, uh, our countries also suffer because um, part of their support comes from the government, from the ministry, trying to support them and help them in, 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 the, in taking care of those cancers. So here's a solution um, that has been provided by our uh, caring scientists that can be used for both men and women. Um, and so this is a very good product that is very critical for women. And the next one is CalMag. CalMag provides the calcium and magnesium that we require, and it provides it the way it is required in the body. In the body, the body requires um, twice as much calcium as magnesium. And that's how it's been formulated in this supplement CalMag in a ratio of two to one. Um, because that is how the body utilizes it. And it utilizes it um, in helping us have strong bones and teeth, um, as well as um, preventing osteoporosis, which is very common in women, especially um, after menopause, um, and supports all the nerve and muscle function. For every, every time a nerve or a muscle is active, it requires calcium and um, uh, for it to, to be able to, to be active and for it to relax in order to continue action, it requires the magnesium. Um, and then our scientists have gone even further to help us um, make sure that when we take this calcium magnesium, it actually enters inside our cells. Um, and which cells are these? I'll come to them. How does it make that? by the, using the chelation technology. Chelation technology means that the Carl mag has been linked uh, in, um, to amino acids, specific amino acids that help to escort it across our intestines into our bloodstream very effortlessly. Um, if you are to just take Carl mag on its own without chelation, then you might only absorb maybe about 15%. But with the chelation technology, you're absorbing a minimum of 85%. So for it to get into the bloodstream, and then on top of that, they've added the vitamin D3, which has several roles. One of the important roles is for that D3 to escort that, those molecules of CalMag straight to our bones and teeth so that they get into those bones. 
And because that is where the, the calcium and magnesium is required mostly, as well as getting into the muscles and the nerves, uh, into the, those cells that uh, you utilize it. And not to remain in the bloodstream and end up um, in, um, in excess in our urine and form stones. So this uh, technology that our scientists have used of chelating it, as well as adding the vitamin D3, makes sure the calcium goes right to where it is required and doesn't ling around, hovering around um, in places where it's not required. Now, the other benefit of D3 that is, is in this Calmag, D3 is an important immune booster also. Just like carotenoid complex, it's also very important in boosting the immunity. So you are getting in Calmag benefits, several benefits um, that uh, in, in one uh, supplement um, um, so that you benefit from it. Magnesium is also very important to calm the mind, um, um, make, uh, uh, as well as making sure the muscles squeeze and keep the heart beating very effortlessly without you feeling it, um, as well as controlling blood sugar, blood pressure, um, and making proteins and DNA, turning foods into energy, and um, as well as being important in blood clotting. Both the magnesium and the calcium are very important for blood to clot. When you cut yourself, you're not supposed to bleed to death. You're supposed to bleed a little and for it finally to clot. So that whatever wound you have, the, there's a nice clot that has formed and doesn't make you lose excess blood. And this becomes very important in preserving the blood that we have in our system. So Calma, uh, the supplement Calma comes with very many different benefits. And you can imagine for a woman during her menstrual cycle, Calma becomes very important, not only in preventing um, uh, cramps when the muscles, uh, uterine muscle is contracting, but also in making sure that as the flow comes, it's not an excessive flow. It comes and it stops and it clots uh, so that the woman during every month does not bleed excessively and has to go into hospital to get a blood transfusion or to faint in the middle of the road because she has lost so much blood. So um, I could talk a lot about Calmag, but we won't. We continue um, for the sake of time. And um, I already discussed the Neolife uh, 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 protein shake as uh, um, um, but here it is being explained how important it is in regulating your blood sugar. So it's very critical also for people who have diabetes. It's very critical for those who want to lose weight or to even maintain their weight. It does not give you those sugar swings that make you crave for sugar um, or, or make a diabetic faint and end up in a coma. Um, it also helps to reduce body fats and body size. It protects your heart um, as well as um, lowers the uh, body mass index and helps you to maintain a weight that is healthy. As I'm sure you, many of us have been reading, especially with, with the current pandemic that we have, one of the predisposing factors to getting COVID is being overweight or being obese. And therefore, you don't have to wait for it to happen. Make sure you keep your BMI within your age um, as well as your height so that you can protect yourself uh, from catching this. Uh, I see Gladys is back on the screen. I think she's telling me um, I need to, to stop now um, uh, and, uh, so that we give time to the other speakers uh, uh, for, for you to hear what the other speakers have to say for us today. Uh, thank you very much, and I appreciate for this opportunity to have been able to discuss these very wonderful, uh, very critical supplements that make a woman healthy so that she can play her role uh, well. And when a woman is healthy and she can play her role in the family well, she can also uh, make sure uh, uh, that the rest of the family is healthy and with a healthy family, then they'll be very wealthy because as I said at the beginning, health is your greatest wealth. Thank you very much. Wow, amazing. Thank you so much, Dr. Tari.
because you've been a big help to us, even as uh, lay distributors. Thank you always for your help. May God always richly bless you. Uh, Thank without, you. Uh, wasting... <laughs> Welcome, Dr. Ari. Um, I'm going to invite a very special lady who is so special to me as a person because she's a lady who has a very big heart. And all the way from Pretoria, she thought about us in Kenya. And she's one of the people who actually brought new life to Kenya. And she's always supporting us. So I'm going to invite uh, Betty Olo to come on board and share with us what she has. Thank you very much and welcome, Betty. Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, Betty. Oh, thanks very much for the opportunity. It's so delightful. Thank you so much, Dr. Tari. Thank you so much, Purity and Gladys, for so far for what has happened. This is a very beautiful way to celebrate Women's Day because now we see what it is that we as women can do and as uh, members of the New Life family, what we have to offer. Uh, my part during this uh, celebration is to speak about some of the challenges that uh, women come across in, our, in business and particularly in our business. Sorry, Betty, can you turn on your video for us? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, is that fine? That's okay. The light is not too good. <laughs> it's getting to evening for us. Okay. Okay, so, uh, so as I was saying, my part is to speak about some of the challenges that we come across. And um, of course, each woman and her situation are unique. So my aim is not so much to, to try to touch every problem that we can come across but rather to share with you some of the areas where I think we might find uh, that commonly we as women will have some challenges. And uh, without further ado, I would like to start with one of the ones that I think are most um, touching for all of us and which has actually been touched on by the previous speakers, and that is balancing business and family responsibilities. Because you see, we as women are very relationship oriented, and so we find that there are a lot of demands on our capacity for relating. And that means that sometimes we, we can become so overstretched because we are trying to fulfill the needs of each side, to take care of our distributors, to take care of our family, to take care of our community responsibility. And of course, that means we can, we can burn ourselves out from getting too overstretched. So uh, the, 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 this particular challenge, I think that uh, one way in which we can tackle it is first of all, to make a habit of assessing in a, 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 during a quiet time, not in the middle of a crisis, just what are the needs of our families. And when we do that, we should remember to include our own needs. And then once we have assessed and uh, I identify those needs, the next thing is to formulate a plan for Sorry, I'm trying to get <laughs> to the middle of the screen and I'm not able to get in, so I, I don't know if uh, you need to change from that side. Anyway, so to formulate a plan for fulfilling these, uh, these needs of our families because they form part of our responsibilities. And with a plan, we'll be able to divide up our time so that we are able to take care of all the sides and, and uh, not feel that we are being stretched too far. Of course, it also means that we need a good backup network. And sometimes we can get very busy and we find that uh, we actually neglect our network of the people who contribute in helping us to in helping us to fulfill these responsibilities. This means that um, as, a, a, as a businesswoman in Neolife, we have to have backup people. That might be members of our families, might be friends, and so on, who can step up for us when we feel a bit stretched. I remember in the years when we were building the business, I relied a lot on my friends, sometimes because of traveling or because of having meetings in different places, 
They helped me a lot in stepping up and picking up children from school, sometimes babysitting and so on. So a, a woman in business, the backup network is very important. And we should not make the mistake of uh, leaving our friends who are not part of a new life opportunity because this opportunity is very good and we always first try to go to the people who are closest to us to show us the opportunity. But uh, some of our friends may decide that they do not want to be part of the opportunity. But this is okay because they will be able to participate in our business in other ways. Many of my friends have been very good customers over the years and they have helped me in uh, various ways in building our business. So they form part of the backup network. And then I find that in order to balance these responsibilities, another thing that is important is to make our expectations clear. So for instance, with our house help, they, we, we need to make clear what we expect from them. Even with our older children, sometimes they need to step up and give a hand. And uh, this should not seem as if we are asking for too much because they too need to learn from uh, taking up responsibilities in uh, building up the business and solidifying the family situation. We also need to learn to delegate or we'll burn out because sometimes we become very involved. We want to, uh, to control every aspect of the business and every aspect of the family. Unfortunately, this is not possible, especially as our business, uh, as your business grows bigger, there will be more people to take care of and uh, your family will still be there. Sometimes the family responsibilities also increase. And so I find that the learning to delegate, to know that, okay, this, I can do so much, but uh, I need help here and there and to ask for that help. So uh, that is what I wanted to touch on in terms of trying to balance the responsibilities of taking care of our business and also taking care of our family. Of course, uh, uh, earlier on, we had how we can, that it is our responsibility to make sure that we take care of our marriage, our children, our husbands, and um, also about the health of our family. But uh, the second challenge that I want to tackle is about uh, prioritizing self-care. So uh, in, in uh, balancing all these things, it is important that we remember to take care of ourselves. And I think the reason why it is good to have such a day as Women's Day is that we take some time in order to think about ourselves as women and the care that we need. And that was an excellent uh, session. I want to thank Dr. Tari very much for telling us so much about how our supplements can contribute to our health as women. But the, 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 the supplements are not going to help us if we are not using them and if we are not taking advantage of the education that we are getting in the business. So uh, a problem of lack of self-care means that we will not be able to give of ourselves as much as we need to, both on the family side and on the business side. And uh, you know that as a distributor, you as a person are the window to your business. When we go and speak to people about our business, the thing they see is not near life. The thing they see is me and you. And how we come across is what is their first experience of a new life business. And so self-care becomes a priority in, our, in uh, taking care of our health and taking care of our business. And we see that even this current uh, pandemic has shown us the importance of self-care. It has shown us that uh, to be able to fight this in a, for, or if it attacks us, it requires that we be in good health. The other thing is uh, we have seen that a woman is a backbone of a family. But I would also like to add that a woman is the heart of a family. And the heart is very crucial. The way we know that a person is truly dead is when the heart stops beating, which means that the heart beats whether we are sleeping or whether we are, uh, 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 we are awake, whether we are tired, the heart keeps on beating. And that, I think, is the, the same as we women. We have to keep on giving, we have to keep on working, we have to keep on listening, we have to keep going even when others are resting. So for that reason, we must find a way in which we take care of our own selves. One aspect that often gets forgotten is the aspect of rest and sleep. I find that one important thing in uh, assuring this is that we, we always set an alarm for waking up. But I think it is useful to set an alarm for going to sleep so that we know at which time I should be getting ready to wind down and to sleep. 
because rest and sleep is important. And I think Dr. Ari will agree with me that these are very crucial, not only for our mental development, but also in maintaining a good weight. More and more research is showing that part of the reason that we gain the unhealthy weight around the waist is from lack of adequate sleep and also because of stress. So if we are not resting and we are stressed, our body never has time to deal with that stress. So I would recommend the habit of setting an alarm for bedtime as well as for waking up. Another way of uh, thing to add to self-care is to nurture good friends. As I've said, my friends, some of them are in the business, some of them are, are just customers, some decided that they're not part of a business, but they are still my good friends because they fulfill my life in other ways. And so nurturing good friends is very important because self-care requires that we have good relationships that support us in all the different ways that uh, we as women are uniquely enriched with. The last point I want to make about self-care is to cultivate the mental self-discipline to process negative emotions. Uh, we know that as we go through life within our family, within our, our community and so on, we'll come across reasons to have negative emotions. And these emotions can play a very bad role in uh, destroying our peace of mind and uh, hindering our ability to perform as uh, members of families and also as business women. So we require the discipline to be able to calm our minds. As uh, Dr. Rui told us, calm is very important for calming the mind, especially at the end of the day. But at the same time, to be able to analyze what has been, let's say someone has said something bad and uh, we are having negative emotions, we should have the self-discipline to examine what has been said and see whether there is some merit in what is being said. Let's say I come across someone who has been criticizing what I'm doing. Instead of taking it personally and getting depressed and uh, feeling let down, it's good to make a habit of simply examining the contents of what has been said and checking whether there is some merit and whether there is a way in which we can improve. Early in the business, I remember us being told that if you have a negative person in your organization or if you have a customer who complains a lot, don't be angry with them because the ones who complain make us improve. So we as ladies, sometimes when we get this uh, criticism or we get some negative person, we might be tempted to switch them off. But uh, I think a better way, a, a more near life way, is to examine the contents of that negativity and see whether there is a way in which we can improve and do better next time. The customer who complains wants to stay. The customer who goes away without complaining will not be with us and will not benefit from that relationship. So uh, the next point that I want to make is um, about uh, low self-confidence. One of the challenges that we might come across as women in, in our business is having low self-confidence. And th this is a... a, a, a a challenge which I find that our business gives us very many opportunities of dealing with very well. Because the way to, to get rid of low self-confidence is to improve our competence. And in our business, we get a lot of support in improving our confidence and it, in improving our competence. So we become better by learning to do better. We learn how to, I remember when I was asked to speak in front of an audience for the first time, I was so nervous, I was shaking, I could not say anything. But over, over time, with many opportunities to get up and speak, I got over my nerves, and uh, although I still get nervous, it's much easier now. That's it. That is an example of how our company is going to help us if we allow ourselves to be helped, to become better and more confident in how we do our business. Of course, initially, we rely on our sponsors to help us. And uh, as they are helping us, we are learning. And as we are learning, we become more confident. Then another thing is uh, sometimes uh, the low confidence is as a result of uh, fear or maybe negative emotions or feeling that uh, this is not for us. And I can also share that the first time I heard about this uh, opportunity, I was a young, a young wife newly arrived in South Africa. 
I did not know many people and uh, I had never had any experience in sales or marketing of anything of that kind. But uh, the person who sponsored us told me that they are going to have training and all uh, the training is free. I simply need to participate. And I see that uh, the emotions of fear, which made me feel that I was going to start something which I was not able to, which I had no experience in. Because as a teacher, I had uh, trained for it and I knew what I was doing. But as a business person studying new life, I knew nothing about the industry. I'd never heard of a company. But as a result of net, not letting fear take control, we got the opportunity to learn about the business and to do the business and to become more confident, thereby losing that lack of self-confidence we had at the start. Then another thing that ha we see happening in, as a result of that low, low self-confidence is uh, the tendency to apologize for everything. We will apologize, especially we ladies, sometimes we are very apologetic. We apologize about how much the product costs. We apologize about how much time this and that takes. We apologize so much. I would like to encourage our, us, ourselves as ladies, that we do not apologize so much. We only need to apologize if we have done something wrong. Of course, if I've done something wrong, I should apologize. But I should not apologize for things for which no apology is needed. As uh, this, the session with Dr. Ari has shown us that the products that we are distributing are excellent and any, any person who has uh, the opportunity to use them will be very happy to do so. Then the last point I want to make, I think time is now not on my side, is another challenge that we as women face is the lack of funds. Sometimes I've, I know many ladies that I've uh, come across who even the, the funds to start would be difficult. In fact, I remember the funds with which we bought our kit uh, was uh, a gift from Pascal because I did not have an income. I was a housewife. I was not able to get work. So with that uh, low funds, what we find happening is we need to be very self-disciplined in the beginning of a business so that we reinvest in our business as much as possible and we try to make a habit of uh, not spending what we don't have and not indulging in debt. I see that our coordinator is there, which I think means that uh, my time is uh, running out. But let me just finish by saying that um, by having faith, and we women are gifted by God with a, a natural ability to have a deep faith. By having that faith and not being afraid of working hard, success is going to come. For sure it is going to come and we will make the world a happier and healthier place. I thank you very much for the opportunity to spend these uh, moments of this women's day and month with you. And I wish you every success in your efforts for the rest of this month. Thank you very much and God bless all your efforts. Thanks. Thank you so much, Betty. Always a pleasure that you give so much of your time to us, even over the weeks. Um, and uh, that is very, very awesome, especially the part of self-care. I really loved that, that we really need to take care of ourselves as ladies. And uh, yeah. So that, that was amazing. So now I'm going to call a very special lady to me. She has been the person who actually brought me into the opportunity. And she told me, Gladys, you can. You can make some extra money. Gladys, I will teach you. I will show you. And she has taken this journey with me up to now. She's very, very special to me. I think she already knows that. So, and she's our host today. She's the host of this meeting. So help me welcome Judith Njeru. Uh, so that she can come and take us to the next session and also welcome our special guests from Uganda. Thank you, Grandes. You can hear me? Yes, I can, Judy. Thank you very much and thank you to everybody. Thank you to our guests that have been invited this evening. My name is Judy Jero. Uh, and by background, I'm a banker. I worked for the bank for 12 years. And then after 12 years, I took a retirement. I went home and I became a housewife. And that's where I always begin my story. And once I was in the house, having a banking background, uh, I always knew for sure I did not want to be an employee anymore. I, I wanted to do business because for sure I knew those people that are in business are the people with the money. I always remember that uh, in the bank, 
that the people who hand money were not employees, but the business people. So I really wanted business. And so I remember those days when um, uh, those employees used to come, we used to have a notice bond. If you come, you find it, no, you know this, the money has not come, you've not received your salary. If it's written yes, you just know the salary has come. And I didn't like that scenario. And so for sure, I really wanted to be in business. My spouse was in business. I admired his business. And, and of course, uh, you admire what he is bringing home. And for sure, I really wanted to be a business person. But I didn't have a sure way of which business to do. And so uh, I, when I was at home for three months, um, because I took a retirement in year 2001, I started thinking what I really wanted. And of course, I had a childhood hobby. And that is what, and what I wanted to exploit. And so I went to college and I started running fashion and design. And while I was there, somebody introduced me into this business. The lady that had just finished talking, she's my sponsor. I'll forever treasure her with a husband. Uh, they have been a backbone in our business for those many years. Last month I celebrated 19 years. This year is my 20th year. And that means I have, we have capable sponsors. And so while I was there, when the business was introduced, introduced to me, I made sure the following day I was in business. I even didn't know how I was supposed to earn the money. But the lady told me, I'm going to help you. I'm going to support you. Anything that you ever wanted to know, I am going to give you. And I was in. Luckily for me, I didn't have to look for money. Uh, while I was leaving the bank, my employer paid me my final dues. So I had some money on myself. I didn't want to bother my spouse, but of course I told him. And I remember I told him that I was told a business and I was told I can make a lot of money. And let me tell you, the rest is history. And what I can tell you as I move along is that as a woman, we are celebrating the Women's Month and we want specifically to speak on business and what it means to the family. When I look for, when I look at somebody like Dr. Fatima, uh, she is so, so, she is excelled so well out there in the world. When I look at purity, she is a lecturer. When I look to so many other people they are doing there, let me tell you, when it, when it comes to matters of business, they are so dear to my heart. And so I'm in business. So why do many people start in the, why do women start businesses? And why did I get into business? Number one, as a woman, uh, purity said it very well, she was a first speaker. That number one, what you really need is freedom. I was an employee for 12 years, eight to five. Sometimes I would work in a center that runs 24 seven. That tells you sometimes I'm not home at night. And let me tell you, it is not fun for anybody. And so any reason for a woman to want to start a business is so that you have the freedom to be with your family all the time. The other thing is you want to be your own boss. Sometimes uh, maybe you're employed, your bosses are not very kind to you. You really wrong the day you start your own business. And that was me. I really wanted a business so that I can be a boss of myself. The other thing is, it's because you want an income. As a mother, I didn't, uh, and as a wife, I didn't want to be a burden to my husband. I didn't want to be a burden to my children. I didn't want to be, to be a burden to my friends. I didn't want my friends to run away from me. And so I had a reason, really, to venture into business. And for some other people, you'll find maybe the source of income in your family is only one. And sometimes right now during this pandemic period, many jobs are foreign off. How I wish I knew this kind of business earlier on. Like now so many, maybe, maybe the some brand winners in families have lost their jobs. But as a woman, if you have something, I tell you can stand in that gap. And that's a key ingredient of having to start a business. The other reasons why many people want to start a, a, a business, it's because you want to, to be a somebody in the society. You want to be a key player in the society. You want to be to, to, to also maybe be there, maybe to fulfill goals and gender. Because sometimes when you have no money, you cannot be able to fulfill goals and gender. You cannot, because you need money every other time. And sometimes being an employee, that money is never enough. But in business, it is, it is, I tell you, you can be able to get some money. And especially when you're in New Life, I am going to give my own story. Uh, when I came to New Life, of course, I was not alone. I was, uh, I've always worked with my husband in this business. 
And one thing I can assure you is that you get some form of independence. Let me tell you, even in, when you are in the house, you are, your spouse takes you as a key prayer in that house. Otherwise, you could learn that because you, 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 you maybe you are just sitting in the house waiting for money to be brought in the house. It takes you as a key prayer in whatever you are doing in that family. And let me tell you, it gave me, it, it gives me a lot of excitement. And so when we came to business, we are, we are working on the business and we are able to touch many more people in the business, it becomes very, very exciting. Right now, things are changing. And uh, you see, like uh, for me, when I finished Form 6, I didn't go to the university. And so while I was in New York, I, uh, 2012, I had, I, uh, that idea was born in my mind. For sure, I knew my spouse has a degree, my children were in Canvas, and very soon everybody will have a photo in their, in their house, mine will be missing. So in 2013, I went to university. 2016, I graduated with a first class honors. I was still doing the business. I was a mother, I was a wife, and still I couldn't be a student and be able to do that. It's because I was hungry for success and I had to be successful. And what I learned, sometimes it's good when somebody draws you into the deep waters. And when I got into that class, uh, I just wanted a photo in my house to hang among us, my family members. But you know what? Uh, I didn't know that that education that I got was preparing, for, was preparing me. Sometimes I think it's God who was preparing me. I wrote a story of my elder sister. She really encouraged me with a friend of mine. They really encouraged me. She didn't go to school, just read and get those degrees like other people. I didn't know that God was using other people to get me to class because they were preparing me for the business of 2020. I didn't know Corona would come, but here Corona is here. But still I'm able to do in business. If there's a month that I'm been, months that I, we have been successful in New York in business, it's from March to date. From March we've been so busy and gone prepared. Now we have Zoom, we are still doing business. I'm doing business. I thank the person who drew me back to class because that is what I'm using today. I can be able to do business. And my business has spread in so many other countries. And my business in America is in South Africa, it's in Kenya, it's in Uganda, it's in Tanzania, in so many nations of the world. How about if I never got started in business? Who would I be today in times of Corona? Where would my family be today? But what I'm doing today is basically investment. That is what we are doing because our children are done with the school. And let me tell you, business is separating to anybody. Right now, you, you have what we call social media. What are you doing with the social media with the business? This is a time to use your social media very well. And God has given you what we call social capital. You have so many people in your phone book. What are you doing with your friends? It is time to do business with them. And whoever invited you for this call, invited you for a reason. They want to make you better people. And because now we cannot be able to do physical meetings. But you know what? Social capital is available to everybody, whether you have money or not. If you do not have money to get started tomorrow, I know many renders we are in Chama. I know we are doing so much out there. You just need a minimum of 10,000 Kenya shillings, And you can be able to get started in this business. And let me tell you when you come, what you need is not that capital that you borrow from the bank. It is not the money that you go to borrow from those other other financial institutions that you need. All what you need in this business is social capital. And that is what I've used in this business to be where I am. And so for those people who are yearning to be business, because they want to be better people than they have ever been, we have got what it takes. And we are going to help you. We are going to bond you to get started tomorrow. And we can be able to move around. I have so much that I can talk. You know, I'm a business student. I can talk about business from evening to from morning to evening. And I'm so passionate about products. I'm so passionate about anything to do with marketing. I'm a marketing student. I can talk about business from morning to evening. And because I still have a tomorrow to talk to you, I want to invite a very special girlfriend to me. This lady is in Uganda. I have traveled the world courtesy of New York. And any time I traveled, I traveled with this girlfriend of mine. And the, the minute I remember the last one we were in Rome, that was, uh, that was last year in 2019, just before COVID. When we were there, COVID was not there, so we have not contracted COVID. 
And so we were with her, we were with her in Mexico City and Cancun. We've been to so many, we were in Hawaii with her, Las Vegas. And let me tell you, she is so special to me. When I came this business, she mentored me alongside Dr. Fatima, alongside, uh, alongside Betty Oro, and so many other members that I'm brought in the business that we've been working together. But this one is so special to me. Anytime we are told this traveling, for sure I know I'm going to get a friend on the other side. So um, my guests at our call, please help me welcome my close girlfriend and, uh, and uh, business colleague, Mrs. Uh, Miriam Kanakulia. Let me give her a welcome. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much, you. Judith. Welcome, welcome, yes. welcome, Miriam. Thank you very much, uh, Judith. And I'd like to thank you for inviting me to this forum. Um, for those of you who are seeing me for the very first time, my name is Miriam Kanakulia. I'm a social worker by employment, an agriculturist by training, and a businesswoman by interest. I started this business 24 years ago. Actually, I am not the one who started it. It was started by my husband, who went to visit a friend in South Africa, and he was invited to a presentation where he was convinced. I don't know how he was convinced because he does not take, you know, things on so quickly. But I thank God that he did, because when he came and shared it with me, he found a lady who was frustrated with businesses. I had uh, employment since 1983. I worked with the Church of Uganda as a development officer, and my salary was so small. Uh, so when I got married, I knew that uh, getting married to a banker meant that I would have a lot of money. I only realized that he also was getting a salary just like me. And um, so we started several businesses. We reared chicken. We bought 600 bucks, and out of those, 350 died. I said, I'm not going to buy chicken again. And then we went on to buy matatus. We bought fuel tankers. We, what did we do? We had a shop on uh, Kampala Road, the main street. The rent went up so high we could no longer afford. We went to the village to dig. We lost so much money. We had a lot of loans. Now, when this opportunity came to us in 1996, what actually moved me was when I went for a meeting in one of the big hotels. I saw people receiving checks. And I said, what have they done to get that money? I did not ask any stupid questions. I said, just tell me what to do, and I will do it. And for sure, we started the business. I was told to use the product which I started using. I was told to talk to people, to invite them for training. I remember the first training we had at home. I invited people and they came and I didn't even know what to tell them. Luckily enough, there was a friend of mine who was so experienced in the business because she had been in the business for two weeks and she came and talked. And funny enough, people took the business and I realized that it's not the logic. It is the excitement which uh, people got from that meeting. And so we started our business, and within four months, 1996 October, we were already directors. And in January 1997, we were already world team members. For the new people, this jargon may not make sense to you, but it will if you take up this opportunity. So we have gone a long way and actually, during our time, there are so many things I have benefited. One of the first things I benefited is the knowledge. I've learned a lot about the product. In fact, most times when we talk, people think we are doctors because the language we talk, like Dr. Fatima Abdallah was saying, you know, we've read all those books. We can talk about osteoporosis and some of the things you went to medical school. Uh, we have got a lot of knowledge. Uh, about marketing, business, and people, I can tell you that there are people who pay a lot of money to go to university to get this knowledge. Then secondly, in terms of health, I'm one of the best beneficiaries. 
When Dr. Fatuma talked about the daughter with asthma, I had asthma since I was born. And I also had Jerry Story, the founder of this company, that he also had asthma. So I started using the product, especially Omega-3. Omega-3 is food to me. It was after one year that I realized that I did not have any asthma attack for the last 12 months. And I felt so good about it. And today, I no longer have an inhaler. I don't have those tablets which used to even make me shake. And I shared these products with my parents, with my relatives, friends, and they have done wonders. Then thirdly, um, about income. Well, I, I was employed, as I told you, but my salary was so small. And so I was looking for income, extra income. So this one came in the right time because um, I was told you can do it part time. And for sure, I did business together with my husband part time for 13. My income from my part time business was twice as much as it was where I was working full time. So I decided to retire before retirement age. And I remember the greatest day of my life was the January 2nd, 2010, when I did not want to work. I didn't have to wake up to go and work. I, right now, I wake up when the sleep is finished, and I go to work when I want to go. And that is an amazing story. And you see, most of us, uh, we tend to go and work, and even after retirement, we go and look for more jobs and you reach the time when you can no longer even remember what you are doing at work, but you are still working. The body is getting older and older, so you need to do your own thing. I have also benefited in terms of personal development. I used to read the newspapers a lot, and you know newspapers are so discouraging. There's a lot of junk. They talk about people being killed and what, so you never get motivated. When I came to this business, I learned that what you need to do is to read the things which uh, benefit you. And uh, that, that's what has helped me a lot, listening to DVDs which are motivating, reading information about good health, and actually getting the good health itself. And then the other thing which I benefited, I used to love travel. And I still love travel. As Judith has told you, this company forces you to enjoy life. For some of you who really want to travel, to go to the beaches, to the five-star hotels, this is an opportunity where you can get all that. I don't know how many nice hotels we have slept in, but we always look forward to going out for a lifestyle. And I, uh, this year when we're supposed to go to Czech Republic, I believe that this COVID is a temporary thing. We shall be traveling. So for those of you who are here on this call today, I know you can achieve this. And as women, uh, there's something which um, sometimes we sit around to wait for men to bring the money at home, to bring the food. God gave you a brain. God gave you hands and you are supposed to work. And so when an opportunity like this one comes, please don't sit behind there and wait. And don't ask so many questions. Because the more you ask questions, you're getting to you're going to get more confused. Now I'd like to give you some tips. Tip number one, you must have a dream. If you want to succeed in this business, you must have a dream and a big dream. You must have a big reason why you are going to do it. Many people who have not succeeded in this business is because they come in when they do not have a big dream. If you don't have an elephant chasing you, you are being chased by a chicken, you are not going to run as fast. But you must have a big dream which is going to drive you to do uh, this business and succeed. Actually, you need to know what do you want to achieve, where do you want to go, and who do you want to be. And then the second thing is you should set goals. In this business, we learn to set goals. You have short-term goals. It could be as small as paying off your debt. It could be as small as taking your children to better schools. You know, many of us are putting our children into schools, not of our choice, 
but because of the money. So set goals. What do you want to achieve in the first year? What do you want to achieve in the first five years? What are your long term house? Do you want that house? Please just make sure that you set your goals. And your goals must be specific, all that. And then the third thing, those who are employed, don't leave your job. As I told you, I did this business part time for 13 years. We became president team members when we were both employed. And it was after 13 years when I decided to retire before retirement age. So for those of you who are scared, this business you can do it part time until you feel you want to go full time. Then the third, the fourth thing, you should try to listen and understand. I've talked to so many people who are saying that, is this a new life? Ah, I know about it, I've heard about it. For sure they don't know anything. And they confess when you ask them, okay, what do you know about new life? You see, my auntie was there. Tell them, you know what? For me, I'm your auntie. I'm going to do it. So don't shut up an opportunity. Just do it and you'll see how God does wonders in your life. Then number five, constantly improve your knowledge through reading books, listening to tapes. You do research on the internet. Every time you read about this product, in fact, I find that um, before I go even to ask a doctor, I read about something and I ask, in fact, what I put in the computer, I say nutritional supplement for osteoporosis. You know, you put in what you want and then all the information will come. So the more information you get, the more you are going to be successful in this business. Then the sixth thing, you must be very committed. This business is not a business which you do today and then tomorrow you will last and, you know, be committed, be consistent and persist. You know, some people give up so quickly, it will not help you. I know of some people, some teachers who have been employed and they go and teach, they are not paid the first month, they are not paid the second month, and they are not paid the third month and they are still going to teach. But if this business is going to pay you every month and they, what they do, what they promise, they give you. So be consistent, be persistent, don't give up. Then the seventh thing is that don't expect anywhere in life not to have challenges. In life, challenges make us better people. You're going to find challenges everywhere. You're going to talk to people who will say, I don't want to listen to that stuff. You just, just said, fantastic, move on to the next person. There are some people who are going to tell you that I don't want to do the business, but they need the product. In fact, the people who need this product most are the people who have a lot of money. So talk to them. If they don't want to listen up to the business, talk about the product. They are going to become your customers. And then the other thing is, don't forget to share about your product. Every time you go out, talk about the product. I remember my uncle who died of uh, prostate cancer. We went for the video. I sat a group of men and I told them you are the next. And they got so scared. So I started telling them about the prostate problem and why they need zinc, Crucifers Plus, Omega-3, to prevent the process enlightenment. And I can tell you, I sold a case of zinc during that video. So don't forget to talk about your product. People are going to buy. And by the way, sometimes you talk to people about the product, they may not have the cash then, but they are going to buy later. And some people prejudge, never prejudge. There's a lady, a very old lady who came to, to, to our outlet and she said give me vitamin D give me this give me this and it went up to about two hundred dollars we looked at each other and the lady brought out of her bank the two hundred dollars and bought the product she said this money was sent to me by my son is in that state so some of you may look at people and say 
This one will not afford it, but they will afford it. And then the other thing is, it is very, very important to do follow-up. Follow-up on your customers, follow-up on your prospects, follow-up on your distributors. They're like a child who has been born in a family because Neolite is a family. So you need to follow them up. You need to show them what they are supposed to do. For those people who buy products from you, give them a call after a week to find out how they are doing. You know, it, it is going to help you. You are going to develop relationships with people. Everybody you have, you must write them down, get a book and write down every customer you have and follow them up. I remember one time I met a man and uh, uh, we were in a bath and then he said, oh, you are in this company, I was wearing my bath. And then he said, ah, somebody used to supply me with this product, but I, I lost their contact. So bring me this and this and this and this and he totaled up to 500 TV. Now that is a result of not following up your customers and also your prospects. If you get tired of talking to your prospects, somebody will pick them up at a point when they are right and they really want to start. So follow up is very, very important in our business. Then the other point is that never, never quit. Because quitters never win and winners never quit. So I just want to end this session by telling you a story of a donkey which uh, was on a certain farm. There was a farmer who had this donkey. It was very old. And one time, this donkey fell into a hole. And so the a farmer said, ah, this it is old, let me bury it. And so he called the neighbors, they brought wheelbarrows, and they started pouring soil on that donkey. And the donkey had two choices either to live or to die there. But luckily enough, whenever they poured soil on it, it just shook it off its body and stepped on it. And it kept rising, 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 until eventually it was able to run out of that hole. Now, what does this teach us? Many of us women have challenges, but what you need to do is turn those challenges into Stepping down. You are not going to be buried into your problems. My husband has left me to school every time for invite them for this presentation. Make sure that you sponsor as many people as possible and make sure that you succeed. In this life, if you want up to succeed, you will. If you think you will fail, you are correct. If you think you are going to succeed, you are also correct. So for those of you who are here, get to are here for the very first time. We are so privileged to have you, and we are ready to talk to you, to show you what you are going to do in future. And I look forward to meeting you in the beaches of the world. Thank you very much, Judith. Thank you very much, Gladys, and all the people who have organized this. Uh, May God bless you. Thank you so much, Miriam, and everybody else who's participated in this meeting. So that even as we come to a close, we are very grateful. We spent the day in a wonderful manner. We've learned a lot. And we can we can only ask God to repay you so that you can continue mentoring more and more people. So for me, on the on this end, on behalf of the hosts and all the business builders who we work with, mine is just to close and tell you that if you're on this call and you're a guest, kindly just get in touch with the person who invited you. They will show you how to be part of the new life family. We love people. We don't close doors for anybody. They'll show you how to, to look for what you're looking for, whether it is health, wellness, ideal weight, extra income, spending more time with your family and friends. You can be your own boss part-time as you've had Miriam did it 13 years, still working for her boss. Uh, you can do it part-time or full-time, anything that you want. And of course, even experiencing the personal growth, the recognition, 
the lifestyle. And above all, we are waiting on, on this other side for you to be part of our new life family. So in short, uh, we are a way of, we are an opportunity. We are not just a business because we offer much more than just one item. So on behalf of everybody else and the support we get always from the company, from Paul and everybody else, I can only say, well, as we part, we, we, we keep meeting, and one day, I believe we'll meet in the beaches of the world, and you'll be able to remind uh, uh, Betty, Daktari, Purity, Judy, and even our guest speaker, Miriam Kanakuria, that you will tell them, you actually encouraged me. Thank you very much. God bless you. And let's keep in touch. Thank you.